I keep boys by my s. Boy. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my s. Oh, boy. Day we hustle, but the night we. Oh, boy. Know that they ride or die. I'm a oh, boy. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my s. Boy. Know that they ride or die. Came up a lot of sounds More when I was not around Certain people that I know They ain't no longer about My name came up a lot of sounds More when I was not around What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel man As you can hear by all of the And I had to Y'all had to excuse me for all the noise for the cars Cause I'm at another one of these locations dog Trying to Trying to shoot a video man Hold on. I'm gonna have to try and make this one quick man But uh Welcome back to the channel Welcome back to a new video. And this time we're gonna do a little review off of the two parts that we just installed on the car, which being the uh, the parent uh, brass bushing, shifter bushing, and the, um, the the short shift adapter. All right, now we got a break with cars coming through here. So what I'll say about the parent short shift adapter. It, uh, they, they claim that it's a 30% shorter throws, which I can kind of get behind because it has shortened the throws uh, a great deal so so that in combination with the uh, the end group uh, transmission mount and the, um, the positive shift kit from uh, white line it all worked together with it and it uh it shortens the throws it feels a, a lot solid a lot more solid of throws but I would also say that uh, it's a little harder getting into gear I'm not saying that in a bad way. It's a good way because you get a more positive engagement. As soon as you go into gear, boom, there's no guessing. You know you're in the right gear. You, you know you're there. You know it's in there solid, and it's just, it, it feels a little bit more. It feels firm, and like I say, it's a more positive feel whenever you go into gear. So in turn, it builds that much more confidence in your shifting. So driving on it for about a week, I've had to, I, I've adjusted to it a little bit. I still got a little bit more to do once I get used to it. But I've only just been running on it, just just driving regular. I get a little bit aggressive with it, but not too aggressive. But I know whenever I go in gear, I want to drop it in gear. It's it's, it's a smoother engagement. It's, it's faster. It don't take as much time. That way, that I, it it, uh, it helps out with your timing when you're getting on the clutch and the gas. So when you switching gears, especially when you're trying to rev match when you um when you shift when you downshift, it, it's 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 better. It feels more. It like I say, it builds more confidence in your driving ability to make you want to run it a little bit harder. That's the that's what it takes to get in the gear right now. It's there to there. That's second neutral and then third. See how that? Those are my throws right now. it and then let's go to reverse all right so here's a a little comparison on how it shifts you know before and after well this is after sit there And then reverse. Reverse kind of feels the same a little bit, but it's just more solid when it goes in. But other than that, man, first is right there. Second is there. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth. There you go. Now, <laughs> what it does now, it building that sort of confidence, man, it makes you want more power. But in all things, man, just like when you get more money, you get more problems. The more power you get, the more problems you might have as well. So you got to keep that in mind when you think, man, I need some more power. I got to have more power, man. I can shift faster now. Now, this mod is like a, I mean, it's something you can do other than changing the whole, um, the shift lever itself and making it shorter, which it probably has just, it, it comes with its own problems. But 
you know, you got to do a lot that much more adjustment. I would say that doing something like that, that kind of a modern car, it gives you the same feeling as having one of those without having to do all the work. But you got to drop a whole lot more stuff in order to get that thing installed and take the whole uh, shifter assembly apart. So it's more of a, a substitution for doing that and you get the same, the same benefit of it. Now, what I'll say about the overall fitment of it, man, just as everything that I've gotten from Parent Dude, um, and let me add, man, I'm not, they didn't, I'm not sponsored by Parent or anything like that, and you know, they, you know, I pay for the stuff with my own money, and what I'll say is they get, they have quality parts, and uh, when you put it in, they fit perfectly. You ain't got to worry about adjusting anything or trying to modify something to make it work. It just works. So. Putting it in there, like I said before in the initial video, the installment of it, uh, the only thing that was kind of a little bit irritating with it was trying to um, hammer the pin, hammer the uh, the roll pin back in with the new shifter uh, adapter, and it moves on you. So you got to hammer it a little bit, move it back into place, move it, do it until you get it. Once you get it started into the uh, the hole that it's in, you're good to go after that. It'll just go right on in after that. But other than that, that was the only like irritating part about the install. Besides having to take off a whole bunch of stuff, but it ain't no big deal, man. It's, it's a part of doing your mods, man. And, and at the same time, I want, you want it to be easy. You want it to be as smooth as it possibly can because if you try to take off less stuff, you may run into problems or, or cause an extra problem that you don't want to have. So, in my in my opinion, man, it was a it, it was a clean install. It's, it's fairly easy. Like I say, I rated it about a four from one to ten. It's not that bad, man. You can do it. Don't. Uh, don't be scared to do it, man. Try it out, man. You will surprise yourself. Once you get into it and you start on it, you'll get in the zone. You'll get it knocked out, man. So, like I say, do it yourself, man. Try and do your own stuff. So, y'all, another thing that I mentioned to you guys. Hold on. Another thing that I'll say to y'all, man, is remember this one thing. You're always gonna have somebody who wants to judge you on your build or whatever you're doing, man. And to a degree, certain opinions, you can take them into consideration, but dude, you gotta remember that it's your build, your money, your car, you do what you want with it, and you really- and With the best intentions, really. I never- Oh, I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? I didn't mean to do that. Please, continue. You were saying something about best intentions? Like me, I'm building my car. I'm not building it for somebody else, I'm building it for me and I want it to look the way I want it to look and I want it to run the way I want it to run. So y'all gotta remember that and take that into, into consideration. I mean, people are, they're well, you, man, you, you welcome to your opinions. It's all good, man, but just remember, unless y'all putting some money on this thing, uh, appreciate your comment, but, my build is what I want it to look like for right now. And will that change over time? Hell yeah, it's gonna change, man. It's all a part of mod, man. So just, it's, it's your own personal journey. This is my journey on this platform. So certain things I think I like right now, I may not like them later on, but it's my decision whether I wanna do it or not. So again, y'all, so hopefully all of the cars driving by and all the noise didn't disrupt the video too, too much. Uh, but like I said, it's me trying to get out of the garage, man, and try and film in different locations around town that I feel like are, are safe. I probably should have did a little bit more research on this. And it is on the busy street, so it is what it is. But like I said, you got to get outside, man, and do something a little different. Um, I want to say I appreciate all of y'all, man. Thank y'all for taking the time out to comment on the videos, man. Let me know your opinions, man. I do. I don't mind hearing them. And like I say, I like to try and keep it positive and try and get away from the negative, man. You know, I do this kind of stuff as an escape from the craziness of the real world, you know, stuff that's going on in the world, you know what I mean? So, try and stay positive, y'all, man. Um, try and do your own freaking modifications, dog. Do your own stuff, bro. You can save that much more money. You can buy more stuff for your ride. So, uh... Invest in yourself a little bit, man. Try it out, man. Save some money. Do your own mods. And, uh, hell, I appreciate y'all. Make sure that you like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. And make sure you hit all so you're notified whenever I put out a video. And your boy will see you on the next video. Peace.